Hi there, this is a tutorial about how to do arpeggios. Now, the secret to doing arpeggios is that there is no secret. It takes hard work and consistent practice. If you practice them slowly and then gradually work your speed up, you'll be able to play them smoothly and correctly. Arpeggios done well are very enjoyable to hear. Arpeggios done sloppily make it sound like you didn't take the effort to practice. So, key is start extremely slow, identify the notes you want to use in your arpeggio, then you're gonna repeat those going up. In general, that's how arpeggios work, is it's three or four notes that are repeated in different octaves. I tend to do mine where I double the top note and then that becomes the first note of my next octave. And that works really well if that's what you want to do. I, it tends to work well for my hands. I actually have really little hands, so I kind of have had to do some adaptive work to make arpeggios work for me. But I'm going to model a few for you here and hope they help. So first, you identify the three notes that are in your chord. If I'm on a C chord, it's C, E, G, C. So when I'm going up in my arpeggios, I've got to decide how fast I'm going to do it based on how many beats I have to do an arpeggio. But in general, you're going to go. Something like that. Now we can do it faster by doubling that top note. And you start extremely slowly. You play them slowly enough that you could play them perfectly. And then each consecutive time, you speed them up just a little bit, still playing them perfectly. If you start having sloppy splashes, that lets you know you're playing too fast. So you've got to back off and start slow again. Now that's just a basic chord. I'm building my tempo. I could do it slowly on purpose, depending on the song, or I may do a really fast one. Three to four octaves, if you have time, you can go on up to the fourth octave. Generally, I start about right here for my arpeggios. Going down is the same principle. You build your tempo every single time, still playing it perfectly. Now, a lot of times, fingering is the most important part that makes an arpeggio work. I use fingers one, two, three, and five. I skip four. That four is too much of a gap between my fourth and fifth finger. The one, two, three, five works really well. Now, I don't always do an arpeggio with just the, the three primary notes that are in a chord. A lot of times I'll make it a sustained, or if I'm on an, let's say, an F chord, I may anchor it around C's, and I will do C, F, A, C. Still an F arpeggio, but I'm starting on the C's because it works really well for the fingering. In that case, I use one, two, three, and five as well. Still building my tempo every single time, starting very slowly. I cannot underscore that enough. If you try to do them too fast too soon, they're going to be sloppy. In addition, I like to add the G in there. Now you can double the top note as well for that. Like that. And I like that little sustain note in there because it's not in the chord but it makes the chord sound really, really rich. Now, arpeggios on black notes are the same way. Generally, if I'm doing an E flat arpeggio, I'm actually probably going to anchor it with B flats. So I'm gonna start on the fifth, using fingers one, two, three, and five, doubling that top note, one, two, three, and I could do a fourth one if I wanted to. I like the way that doubled top note sounds. It, it's actually the top note, then it becomes the bottom note of the next octave because I think it makes it sound fuller and it adds an additional note into the arpeggio and it sounds really full. You don't have to double that note. At times, I'll throw the G in there. Like if I'm on an E flat arpeggio, I'll throw in the E flat F G. I'm sorry, I said throw the G in there. I meant throw the F. And that sounds really pretty. In that case, it's a smaller arpeggio and you don't really need your pinky at all, except on the top note. That works well. Let's say I was on a, an A flat arpeggio, in which case I'll usually anchor it with the fifth, which is an E flat. I could just do a plain A flat arpeggio. 
or I may add that little B flat in there because it sounds nice. In which case I'm using fingers one, two, three, four. Or if I want to go ahead and double that top note, I may go. Once again, the key is start slow, build your tempo. Now, I could go down. Someone had a question about a verse of Great Is Thy Faithfulness. I just played on one of the Instagram videos, and I did a downward arpeggio. It's the same thing. Same principle, you're just starting down. The downward arpeggios are a little more challenging. That's not a natural motion for our hands, and you've got to practice those with a little more carefulness and attention to making sure you're not being sloppy. Above all things, make sure you are being careful and clean. One of the best ways to practice your arpeggios and to improve your finger control is to also practice scales. Identify the seven, eight notes total in a scale with your um, top note being the octave and practice your scales over and over again.